My name is Catherine Beck, and I'm a senior software engineer at Gatsby. I'm really excited to be here today to talk to you about previewing content with Strapi and Gatsby Cloud. To get started, I'd first like to talk to you a little bit about content editor workflows and kind of understanding why preview is such an important part of that experience. Creating a website today is a hugely collaborative experience. Behind every awesome website is a team of content editors working together to create a fantastic digital experience to deliver to end users. But the workflows of these content editors and the web developers that create these websites can really vary greatly and it can be challenging to support both simultaneously and kind of really support both of these professionals at the same time. Really often developers get to choose the stack for a website when it's created, but it might not be one that's so most supportive of the workflows that the content editors or marketers would like to use. And vice versa, the marketers may choose the tools, but they might not be ones that are conducive to the productivity of the developers for that site. So at Gatsby, we really hope that both can benefit and it can kind of be the best of both worlds. Developers can get to use the tools they love to create beautiful, functional, and performant websites, while content editors get to plug into their CMS of choice. And this is all really made possible by Gatsby's incredible content layer and open source JavaScript framework. Developers can bring the tools and resources they need, while content editors can pull from the content sources that they need, including Strapi. And in that way, it all can really come together in the CMS. I say that because this is where developers and content editors build out the content model that really will power their new awesome website. And part of this experience is building a mechanism for previewing content. But again, why is previewing content so important? Why even preview? Well, for a content editor, the ability to preview content or press that open preview button is the moment of truth. It's where they're able to simulate how their content will look in the production environment. And this is really important for a few reasons. Just like developers and QA testers will test code before it goes in production or test software, content editors wanna see how their content looks in production. Content is often so critical to driving campaigns, driving revenue, generating leads, that it's really critical that these editors are making sure the content is creating the impression that they need. It's also really important that they are able to preview um, content on different platforms or different devices, kind of making sure that things like headings wrap, et cetera, when they view content on mobile, on desktop, and across maybe different devices. And finally, preview can be really an important part of their approval process. Often, these editors really need that seal of approval before they can hit the publish button on any content. So the ability to you know, preview that content themselves, but also to share a link to that um, URL where the content can be previewed is really important to their workflows. So you can see that it's really vital that developers support content editors and the preview experience. And we see this with clients as well. Lisa Potter from the Starlight Children's Foundation indicated that their new Gatsby website is a content marketing paradise because of this preview feature. Brittany Martinez from EV Magazine indicated that it's really critical that they be able to preview multimedia and know what it looks like on mobile, desktop, calling it an absolute must. So now that we understand a little bit about why preview is so important, in these workflows, let's talk a little bit more about preview in action and using preview with Gatsby Cloud. And here I'd like to start a little bit with some of Gatsby's goals with preview. With preview, we want it to feel like a seamless handoff between the CMS and Gatsby Cloud. We almost want it to feel like the user is using the same tool as they easily switch between editing content and previewing what it will look like on their site. We also want a preview experience that can keep up with the speed of collaboration. So not only being able to quickly preview that content, 
but also being able to handle multiple content editors, editing and previewing content at the same time. It's also important that editors understand how preview works and that developers be able to support that preview experience that they desire. And there are kind of, there are three ways in which we can kind of break down this preview experience and how we create this awesome preview experience. The first thing I'm gonna talk a little bit more about is how Gatsby has made preview builds faster over the past year. I've also made preview easier to use. And then finally, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can optimize your site for preview by using Strapi and also kind of some ways that um, in the code, how you can optimize the site in order to support the best preview experience possible. Okay, so let's talk about the first one, making preview builds faster. So the first concept I'd like to talk about here is this idea of incremental preview or incremental builds for preview. This was previously something that was only available for production builds, but it's now available for preview, where it's often more important because you wanna view those changes more quickly. The idea is, is that if you are just making a small update, you don't wanna rebuild the whole entire site. So content editors push a data change to the CMS and Gatsby Cloud pulls those updates incrementally. And this is all made possible by Gatsby's source plugin system powered by GraphQL. Pages pluck data from the schema and Gatsby can track page data dependencies and kind of know that when a specific piece of data changes, which pages need to be rebuilt incrementally. And kind of with this in mind, we thought, why not apply this incremental concept to more parts of the publishing pipeline to help content editors feel that instant preview experience? Because while an incremental build might only take a few seconds, if we're kind of if we're generating routes and deploying the site in a non-incremental way, they might have to wait a minute or two before that content is actually available to be viewed. And again, I kind of want to make that comparison between production and preview. This might not be very noticeable with production build. The workflow there isn't going to send the user immediately to the production content after it's published. But with preview, it can be noticeable. You do want to immediately view that content and see how it's changed on the page. And so we, we have moved to apply this concept to deploys as well, and not only builds. And we have released this feature in beta called incremental deploys. So that is certainly something that I encourage you to check out on our site. Um, it's available in beta, and I think it can really benefit that preview experience in terms of speed. Okay, so now that we've talked about some ways in which Gatsby has made preview faster, let's talk about making preview easier to use. And I think the best way to kind of see that is to walk through what it's like to use the open preview button. So I'll talk a little bit later about how this is available with Strapi, but this is what the open preview button extension looks like for a Strapi instance. And we're gonna kind of see what it's like to use it in conjunction with Gatsby Cloud. Okay, so what happens when you click that open preview button? Okay, so for example, say you have a blog post called Beautiful Picture and you wanna change the title. You wanna really ramp it up, call it Beautiful Picture Amazing. So you'd make that change and you're wondering, hey, what does this look like on my site? So you go to press that button we saw on the previous slide and you're immediately redirected to the page that that content is linked to. And you can see that a preview is being built. And then as soon as that page has been updated, your preview UI indicator is gonna tell you that, and you can view the changes. So a few things that are great about this is you immediately know that you're kind of in the right place. You're on the page where you wanna view that content kind of ready to see the page. And then right away, you know when that content has been updated. Um, another aspect of this that I think is important to point out is that you'll, the user will only receive this update if something on the page they're on has been updated. They won't get a notification if another page on the site that has nothing to do with their page has been updated by maybe another content editor. They might get a notification this page has been updated if, hey, someone else went and changed maybe the, the content of this blog article another time. So that, that's kind of great to see 
um, and kind of those real-time updates that the page has been changed. And voila, once you click on that button to view the changes, you can see the new title right there. Okay, so that's how we can see that, um, how that kind of works step by step. But I just want to play a quick video so you can kind of see that all in action. And also point out that on the left of this video, I have Gatsby Cloud open. So you can see how the, the webhook is triggered when the new content is updated and saved. That starts that new build. And then that's kind of what we're being linked to um, when we press that open preview button. So let's check that out. Okay, so we're changing the title. Amazing. This is really, really fast because it's a pretty small um, blog website. Page has been updated, view changes. And there we go. So after seeing that, you might be wondering, how does Gatsby Cloud know how to direct you to preview content? Because Gatsby Cloud really abstracts a lot of that complexity away for you um, and the idea of matching content to preview. And really what the idea that's the core of this is this idea of the manifest ID, because this is the system that allows the CMS, the source plugin, Gatsby Cloud, and Gatsby Core to all at once be able to identify a piece of content. Um, this ID, known as the manifest ID, is tied to a specific node at a specific point in revision history. And it's in a format that both the CMS and source plugin can both easily generate and understand. It's uniquely tied to the state of the content in the CMS. And the source plugin and Gatsby generate the same manifest ID. And this is kind of how this all works together to provide you and redirect you to preview the content that you want to see. Okay, so now let's talk about how you can support preview and get a little bit more in terms of how into how that works exactly with, with Strapi and some recent updates that Strapi has made as well. So we're talking about this last piece of the puzzle here for building an amazing preview experience, optimizing your site for preview. So there are just a few best practices that I wanna talk about here. First, of course you wanna use Gatsby Cloud. That's that's kind of where you can take advantage of some of these improvements that we've made in terms of incremental builds, incremental deploys, and the preview UI indicator. And the great thing is that now Strapi really works great in conjunction with these tools on Gatsby Cloud with the new Strapi Source plugin. This Source plugin is available in beta and it supports Gatsby 4, Gatsby plugin image, incremental builds, and the CMS preview experience, and that content sync open preview button experience that I demonstrated. It does only work with Strap E4, um, and you're also going to want to install the Gatsby preview plugin so that you actually have that button that you can that can be clicked for that open preview experience. And I have the name of it there. Um, this can all immediately be seen in action by using the new Gatsby starter that Strapi's created um, to to um, kind of get up and running right away. That's actually what I used for this demo. And it was very simple to use and kind of immediately see how this can all work together right away for a website to try out. Okay, so now I also wanna talk a little bit about how you can support preview by just addressing some things that you wanna avoid when you're creating a website. So the first thing that you wanna avoid is removing preview data, data that's needed to create that preview experience. So when querying for pages in your Gatsby node file, you wanna avoid using any sort of filters on the list of nodes that could potentially prevent preview from working or any filters that can remove preview data. So like, so the best example of this is, you know, filtering it by status, the status being published, for example, and you're kind of taking out anything that's in draft form and just saved and not published yet. Another thing you wanna avoid is context stuffing. Um, this is the idea of querying for all of your data in the Gatsby node file and passing it to create pages via the context. And if you pass all of the data that way, it's going to cause every query in the site to rerun on every update. So this can make your updates really slow. And in some cases, it might even prevent Gatsby from rerunning queries and result in stale data. You won't see those content updates on the page or in previews. And this is kind of, this is definitely something that you want to try to avoid. So those are a couple of things to avoid. Um, 
let's talk about some things you do want to do. So instead of context stuffing, you want to Marie Kondo your content. When a page is created dynamically, um, you want to only provide the context that that page needs in order to be generated. Only pass the data that you need to the context, essentially. Okay, another thing that you can do to really optimize the preview experience is to use something called the owner node ID. And this is an API, this is an API we have that can really customize the preview experience for your content editors. Um, this is important because sometimes content lives on multiple pages. And maybe there are certain ways that your editors want to preview that content. So developers can customize that preview experience by telling um, Gatsby which page owns a specific node um, or which node owns a page rather of, of content. So, you know, maybe for some reason you want to always preview blog posts from the main page, not that specific blog page because that's where users go more often, for example. Um, so you can do that and you can customize that by using the owner node ID. And then here I've kind of just mapped out, these are some things that you, um, this is how the how Gatsby knows where to kind of direct for that, that content and kind of what node ID is used in the cases where that owner node ID is provided. And again, this is all in our documentation. And so, um, so that can be something really helpful when you're developing a Gatsby website with Strapi. And that's it. I covered how we made preview builds faster, how we made preview easier to use, and how you can optimize your site for preview. Thank you for listening today. I'm happy to take any questions at this time, and I really appreciate you coming out to hear my talk. Thank you.